This week on the Suffer Club, I bring out the danger zone and I talk about why I'm riding my fixed gear bike a lot more. If you remember last week in the winter short track series, I ripped off the non drive side arm of my crank on the last lap. I ordered a new one thanks to the boys over at the Trek store in Charlotte. And we head to week two of the winter short track series and meet a bunch of really cool people. Let's just get into it. We are out with these guys. That's Tim Sigmund, Jeremiah, and the legend himself. And we're on the fixed gear again. So one of the reasons why I have started riding my fixed gear a lot more is for my running training. I've stated multiple times that I want to run a 100 mile race in 2019. And at first I'm a cyclist and hope to always be a cyclist. But what better way to train for a 100 mile race than just spinning your legs out? Now I understand there are times where momentum keeps my legs moving, but on this 52-16 gear setup, you kind of have to mash the pedals a little bit. I enjoy it, it works for a faster group ride, but today we rode 43 miles and uh, it was a good time. One of the highlights of this ride was High Rock Road and man was it not fun. This young man Jeremiah and I teamed up together and rotated about every 30 seconds. Sounds good until I had burnt every match I had and almost took him out because I was so winded. Yeah, I rode way past my limit and that sucked. It scared the crap out of me. Not the smartest move. And yeah, I backed off really quick. Well, the new crank is back on the bike, which means I will be able to race this weekend. Huge thank you to the guys at the Trek store. I did find the culprit and the reason for this crank arm falling off. Right in there, there's a little clip that is supposed to go. And this is the reason why it fell off. There is a little tab that is supposed to be on the end of that. And it actually locks in to the crank other arm right there that little hole that plastic pin goes in there and helps keep it on new crank new crank arm I maybe could have just replaced that little pin but new upgrade so let's see how this race goes so before we get to my race I need to introduce you to someone this is Tina Bickford Tina is a really good friend of mine that we have rode bikes for a few years together and her and her husband John are just phenomenal human beings and today Tina shows up for week two of the Winter Short Trek series in a Suffer Club t-shirt and put on an outstanding performance in the sport women category. If me and Tina are riding together, you will hear me say, dig Tina dig, because there's nobody that it lights a fire under more than Tina Bickford. And man, was today a phenomenal performance from her. Tina, I am so proud of you. And you are the first Suffer Club athlete on the podium ever. So another highlight of this weekend was meeting the guys from Free Fly. There's gonna be a story on them here soon. Phenomenal coaching program. They put three kids on the podium and one kid podiumed twice in first place. Yeah, outstanding. Another kid, 15 years old, racing in the pro categories. It's just incredible what they're doing. So we're gonna find out more about them and what they do. So another really cool moment of the day, we watched this young man ride across the finish line with only one pedal. Yes, one pedal he rides for bike and dads. All right, well I was racing at the bottom and uh, hit the drop and my pedal came off. I had to run it through and then go one foot at the end. This is pretty crazy. So Brendan, kudos to you, my friend, for finishing so strong. But very glad I met you and biking dads. And let's hear what biking dads is about. Bike and Dad's Ventures, founded in 2014. We're actually a nonprofit out of the Charlotte area. We have a bunch of young guys and girls that ride and race for us. We're not a race program. We're actually outdoors, family, community, fathers, but it did just start with dads. So how can people find out about 
Viking Dads. Simply our website, vikingdads.com, B-I-K-I-N-D-A-D-S.com. We're on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So this week in the 19-39 to men's sport class, I did much better than I thought I would. Here's some footage from my race. Well, man, that race was a lot of fun. It hurt really, really bad, but I have a lot of footage from this week, and so I'm just going to play it. Me and Tyler will be out at the Idiot Run in two weeks. Link in the bio to find out more about the Idiot Run. It's going to be a fun time. I hope you enjoyed this week's Suffer Club video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're in the video, comment, share, or subscribe, and we will see you again really soon.